find uh, we have started the discussion of uh, welded connection please maintain silence we have uh, we were discussing about the welded connections and in that we have seen what are the advantages and what are the challenges or in other words what may be the disadvantage of welded connection that that's what we have covered we have also seen uh, that there are few is code recommendations or uh, in other words we call them as the is code clauses is 800 2007 has provided few guidelines in order to uh, go for the design of welding okay and uh, we have seen that there are different types of uh, welds most commonly in our syllabus which we will be covering will be the simple welded connections simple in the sense the members which will experience tension and compression forces those members will be designed and for that design since we have uh, covered the design portion of bolted connection with respect to these members only that is the tension and the compression member okay we have not covered uh, the connections which are subjected to moment as such those are known as moment resisting type of connections the philosophy is bit different ultimately you are supposed to identify the number of uh, bolts which are required in case of bolted connection and for welded connection you will have to decide upon the thickness of the weld so yesterday we have seen few terms as far as the welded uh, welded connection is concerned we have seen the size of the weld this was one uh, parameter this is the parameter which will be required in order to decide Uh, or in order to go for the design of welded connection that is the size of the weld another term is the thickness of the weld and third term is the length length up to which we are supposed to provide the weld these are the important terms and this is what we are going to design but uh, although these terms looks very small but the significance and the uh, methodology or the uh science behind that is quite uh, i mean long and because of that you will see your is 800 2007 has recommended the specifications pertaining to that science okay so we will revise that we have seen the advantages types the symbols which will be required for you people to represent what type of welded connection you have provided every time you will not i mean it is not recommended that every time you will be you know providing the information in a complete manner for example if i am providing fillet type of weld koi bhi member ka agar connection mai fillet weld se karta hu maan ke chalo and if i am uh, if i want to represent that connection on the drawing or on the, on the drawing sheet every now and then i will not write that this is a fillet connect fillet connection no that will be represented with the help of a symbol once that symbol is known to everyone then it will be convenient to understand even for a layman that what exactly has been represented at that point okay so that is the significance of your drawing that is the significance of the arrow and symbol of different types of welded connections uh this is true for bolts okay uh jaise bolt ke alag alag diameter hote hain so for any connection uh you will be representing the arrow and on that arrow you will be showing the size that is uh, if it is 16 mm dia so you will just write 16 that's it rest of the things will be understood because you will be mentioning in that drawing sheet that all the units are in mm once you do so so all the uh, numbers which you you will be representing those will be automatically assigned to the mm unit so so on and so forth these symbols as you can see most commonly you will see the uh, fillet weights okay 
and the groove or the butt type of connection that is the there are different uh, connection shapes as you can see over here okay for example this plate if it is uh, truly rectangular and if it is supposed to be connected with some cut like this so such type of shape is your be uh, bevel shape okay this is a v notch or v type of connection okay so on so depending upon different types of these are very commonly uh, used shapes and based on these shapes the symbols are represented okay but the representation is very very significant that i will be discussing now see this is the these are the clauses which we have seen and one thing you can see over here uh, this is the fillet type of weld and this fillet weld if you can observe very uh, closely the shape of this is convex type bulging outside so this is a convex type of shape on the contrary this is concave type of shape so both these connection or welding types can be provided okay but uh, based on this the calculation will change based on the shape if it is convex the is code recommends different clauses for concave it is different right so both these categories howsoever the shape may be the size of the leg and all will be this much only that is this point is known as the root of the weld and from this root to this much distance or up to this much it is known as the weld size or size of the weld this is of our importance then this will be known as the thickness of the weld abhi thickness although it looks to be uh, truly convex or truly concave but on the side it is not the condition it is some uh, some or the other way distorted it is not that concave or convex okay so how to identify uh, the thickness so mathematically we can consider this portion to be a triangular portion and we can drop a perpendicular from this root on this hypotenuse size of the weld should be uh, you know even it should be even so from that point of view this value thickness it comes out to be 0.707 times the l or the size of the weld okay now there are few clauses uh, important clause for uh, such type of connection uh, which we will be frequently coming across that is the tension uh, member or the compression member in that case we are supposed to go for these end returns purpose of this end return, end return is to keep the two members in position because last time since i told you if the connection is terminated up to only this point what will happen this will come out this connection will come out there won't be any kind of protection as far as the ends are con uh, concerned so therefore these end returns are to be provided and for that uh, as per this clause this is i think page number 78 of your is 800 fillet welds terminating at the ends or sides of uh parts should be returned continuously around the corners for a distance of not less than twice the size of the weld two times size of the weld size of the weld is represented by capital s okay so it is two times s the minimum requirement yahan pe diya hua hai then we have seen the size of the weld definition and all we have understood that effective throat thickness this much that's what i have explained to you people ab ye dekho ye concave hai zarur but ye distance yahan se leke yahan tak nahi gina gaya hai it is not possible and therefore some mathematical uh, value has to be assigned to it and it should be logical so fine this table is of our importance uh, that we will see when we will solve one numerical 
Okay. In that case, we will see the uh, use of this table. Then we have also seen the effective length. Okay. Effective length of the fillet weld shall be taken as only that length which is of the specified size and required through thickness. In practice, the actual length of the weld is made up of effective length shown in the drawing plus two times the weld size, but it should not be less than four times the size of the weld. Okay, so this is the minimum criteria, criterion rather, uh, which is mentioned in this. This table, this table it specifies that for purpose of stress calculation in fillet welds, joining faces inclined to each other, the effective throat thickness shall be taken as k times the fillet size, where k is your uh, coefficient depending upon the inclination of the connection, right? So fine, we will uh, discuss about the detailing, drawing. So now see in this uh, figure, In this figure, as you can see, there is one arrow which is shown over here. Okay? If you have difficulty here, you can check it in your mobile device. Here. You can zoom it if possible. Okay. So see what is what are the components which are given over here? As you can see, there is one arrow, and above the arrow, there are few terms which are written. S, then E, F, A, R, etc. You can view that. So can you please read out what is the meaning of F, capital F? Yes. Finish. Then what about capital A? A A. This A. Root angle. Root, root, root. Groove angle. Sorry. What about capital R? Groove opening. Root opening. Then what about this capital S? Hmm? Depth of bevel. Capital S. Capital E. Groove weld size. What about capital L? Length of the weld. Capital P. Then uh, th th these are the components which are above the arrow side. Try to understand. Ye jo arrow hai, iske ye above portion ka description abhi amle pada. Now let us try to understand what is given below the arrow. Below arrow. What is this capital N? Okay. Hmm. So slot welding, plug welding, us related wood terms. Then what about this T? Capital T. Specification of process. Great. What about these uh, brackets? These are. Okay, and what is the uh, significance of or uh, the this? Yes. Oh, that is also correct. For. Huh? Here, zoom. Karu. Oh. Okay. Uh, 
this is also fine thank you so this is filled weld symbol this is weld all around symbol this is the arrow connecting the reference line to arrow side member of the joint or arrow side of joint now see this this is the uh, bracket which is representing the sides okay this is above and below or as far as the symbol the, uh, the arrow is concerned this is known as the description which is on the arrow side so jo below portion ka jo hai in that uh, bottom portion you are supposed to mention all the details which are along the arrow side and these are the details which are to be represented on the other side of the connection so ye hum samajh lenge what is the arrow side and other side of the connection now see this is one uh, contour symbol contour symbol jaise maine convex hai concave those are nothing but the contours those are known as contours so this symbol is representing the contour finish symbol as you have told me groove angle included angle of or counter sink for plug welds then r is the root opening length of the weld and so on right so now just we will try to understand uh, how to incorporate this arrow and how to see the symbols now over here yeah now see now ye dekho ye for example ye drawing hai this is a drawing and in this drawing as you can see uh this is the weld which is provided first of all we we need to understand what type of welding is this whether it is butt weld or fillet weld naturally it is a fillet weld why because these two members are getting connected in a perpendicular or with respect to some angle isn't it so this is a fillet weld so we have identified first thing that it, the welding is a fillet weld now what is this 3 by 3 uh, by 6 uh, 8 inches so ye kya ho gaya what is this what this must be size of the weld since we have seen size of the weld it starts from the root up to the end of the weld so this becomes the size of the weld right now if i want to represent uh, this connection no other information is given other than this part if i want to represent this complete information with respect to the arrow which we have just now understood so how it can be ye dekho ye yahan pe ek symbol draw kiya hai and while representing this have you noticed one thing that the symbol of the fillet connection is okay and the size of the weld all these things both these things are written below the arrow why because this side is representing the side the side where the connection is performed to yahan pe dekho is side mein connection perform kiya hua hai aur wahi pe hum ye arrow jo hai wo represent kar rahe hain yahan pe agar koi connection provide kiya hota okay the information related to this connection would have been represented over here that is on the other side of the arrow got it so for example just for an example ye dekho okay yes this is a groove weld by now you must have understood groove and butt weld connection 
ग्रू वेल्ड और बट वेल्ड दे आर कनेक्टेड वेन दी टू कनेक्शन इन दी पैरल मैनर सो यू कैन सी दिस कनेक्शन instead of drawing all these things we can simply you know represent it in this manner and now just try to understand ye dekho arrow diya hua hai aur ye jo arrow hai iska jo bottom portion hai wahan pe hum kya provide karte information the information related to the connection which is on that arrow side okay to ye arrow jo hai ye yahan pe represent kiya hai और एरो साइड में कौन सा कनेक्शन है ये वाला सो यू आर सपोज टू मेंशन ऑल द डिटेल्स ओवर हियर सो यू कैन सी ग्रू वेल और ये वी कनेक्शन है एज यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर दिस इज अ वी टाइप ऑफ कनेक्शन सो वी टाइप ऑफ सिंबल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड देन द साइज ऑफ द वेल्ड इज आल्सो रिप्रेजेंटेड 1 एंड हाफ सॉरी हाफ इंच हाफ इंच इज गिवन so half inch you have represented over here okay and the angle information this is the root angle which you are supposed to provide that is again provided now over here if you can see on the top 45 degree angle is given whereas at the bottom 60 degree angle is given while representing the arrow you are supposed to represent the connection details in such a way that bottom part of the arrow will represent what it will represent the connection which is shown at that point and on the other side or on the bot, uh, above side of the arrow you are supposed to represent the details of the connections which are on the other side of the arrow which is pointing at the connection okay so in that case this 60 degree will be about this arrow and that has to be followed the meaning of this is you are supposed to follow all the details which are given or represented by the arrow this is nothing but the symbolic representation now now you can see ye dekho in this case this is a tack weld there are different lengths of the weld associated and the center to center distance what we call it as the pitch that is also given pitch distance kitna hai it is 5 inch whereas the length is 2 inch length of the weld is 2 inch pitch is 5 inch okay so on the other side you can see there is there is no connection only on the one side the connection is provided so you are supposed to mention that connection whatever connection is there along the arrow side so this is the arrow what type of connection it is obviously it is a fillet weld and the representation is with the help of this triangle now if i want to represent uh, the length and the pitch how it has to be represented so see over here पहले लेंथ आएगा और उसके बाद में पिच एंड हाउ इट इज मेंशन एल डैश पी करेक्ट सो फ्रॉम हियर इट इज वेरी क्लियर दैट दिस बिकम्स दी लेंथ ऑफ दी वेल्ड एंड दिस बिकम्स दी पिच ऑफ द वेल्ड एंड दिस हैज दिस विल बी दिस दिस इंफॉर्मेशन विल बी फॉलोड बाय दी सिंबल ऑफ दी वेल्ड Over here it is fillet weld. मान के चलो वो पेन नहीं आता है इसमें अच्छा फुल स्क्रीन करना पड़ेगा ना हाँ फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहां पे कनेक्शन होता है and it is something of this sort convex so aap logo ne kya kiya tha so whether the information is to be represented or over here or here above or below the arrow above theek hai to theek hai fillet weld hai this is again fillet weld but if you can see the contour the contour is convex type okay so how it will be 
this is fillet weld and now i am supposed to represent the convex contour the convex contour is represented in this manner okay so i i think ye dekho ye dekho ye jo symbol hai this is the convex representation of the weld okay and if it is a fillet weld plus convex nature then it has to be shown it shown like this along with this the size of the weld has again to be represented so over here the size of the weld shall be 3 by 8 inch this is how the symbolic representation of any welded connection is to be conducted one more thing one more aspect ye jo hai this is regarding the specification fine what it says this regard this is regarding to the specification process or other reference see most of the time what happens some information whether the welding is to be done on the site or it has to be done in the workshop that has to be mentioned for the fabricator to understand or for the uh, welder to understand where exactly the process has to be done that information needs to be there in your drawing as well okay so that information can be provided over here let's say for example in our case if this connection is to be uh, prepared on the site then in that case what you will do in order to mention that information you will give uh, this symbolic representation first of all and over here you are supposed to write field as i e l d sorry for that field uh, weld okay field weld once you write this information the welder will come to know that you uh, welder has to perform the welding on the site either field weld or on site weld these terms can be used okay so such kind of references specifications uh, which cannot be covered on that arrow can be represented over here okay so uh, you may come across such kind of question wherein uh, such drawing may be given to you and that drawing has to be explained with the help of some symbol that can be there so you are supposed to know uh, the different types of symbolic representation how it can be done and i hope to some extent you have understood the explanation in case uh, if the welding is concave type in that case let's say for example yahi pe this uh, this is something of this sort concave so what i will do i will be representing the fillet weld symbol and the concave symbol is to be represented in this manner that's it done along with this don't forget to mention the size of the weld that is 3 by 8 inch this is 3 yeah? 3 by 8 inch understood ये सिंपल कनेक्शन पहले आप लोग मेमोराइज कर लो समझ लो एंड वंस यू स्टडी दी एडवांस पार्ट ऑफ इट यू विल कम टू नो दैट हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट अदर सिंबल आई होप दिस इज अंडरस्टूड बिलो दी एरो जो कनेक्शन दिया हुआ है वो रिप्रेजेंट होता है अब दी एरो अदर साइड में जो कनेक्शन प्रोवाइड किया हुआ है वही मेंबर का वो रिप्रेजेंट होगा फॉर एग्जांपल दिस तो मान के चलो अगर यहाँ पे 60 होता और यहाँ पे 45 होता मान के चलो सो व्हाट चेंज वुड हैव बीन देयर ओवर हियर एग्जैक्टली रिवर्स 
60 would have been become 45 and 45 would have been 60. So that is the representation. Okay. These are few drawings. Uh, and uh, you can see there are few specifications. Those are also uh, I mean, given. So, thoda, yeah, chai, yeah, yeah. so, you can see this is a very common connection between a column and a beam. And as you can see, in addition to the weld, we have also provided the bolt connection. So, as a combined connections, and it is acceptable. There is no harm. As a push, we serve for self weld provide kare, the serif bolt provide kare. No. We can even go for the combination of weld and bolt in order to create uh, the required amount of fixidity. Okay? So that can be done. Now you can see over here. There are different symbolic representations which are uh, given. significance? Flag is flag. Uska kya meaning in? Field weight. Anna? So, ye jo hai, ye field weight ka connection, uh, symbolic representation. Okay. Then, ye jo hai, iska matlab kya hua? Here go. What is the meaning of this? Slot weld, plug weld, ये verify कर लेना। इसका मतलब है कि ये जो connection है, on this face of the connection, plug weld or slot weld is provided, whereas on the other side, on the other side of the connection, that is back side of this connection, what is the shape? Groove weld is provided and uh, nature is B weld. Okay? And there are some specifications which are mentioned. Here, kya kata hai? CJP at beam web to column flange. So, what are these CJP and all? The, uh, the complete meaning of this has to be represented on this side of the drawing. Yahape jo hai. A vertical line is drawn normally in your drawings. You must have observed this, but for your information, additional information on this side of the drawing or on this side of the drawing sheet, you are supposed to write down the notes and you are supposed to mention uh, the full form of the abbreviations, whatever you have used. This is just for your reference. So the meaning of CJP must be something, the exact meaning has to be mentioned on these, on this side of the drawing sheet in the form of notes. Okay. So this is a typical uh, welded connection symbolic representation, which is provided over here. Okay? And this is how you are supposed to draw the drawings. Fine. This is a three-dimensional view. This is a bolted connection. This drawing, hai, for example, this drawing or uh, three-dimensional view, this symbolic representation is given You can study that. Okay. Then finally, to summarize. So what we have seen, we have seen what exactly is the welded connection? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? What are the different types? And for designing, what are the essential IS-800 clauses? Those are to be remembered. Symbolic representation. And to summarize, we will see or we will compare the welded and the bolted connection. And let's see which one wins. Hana, aap log YouTube dekhte ho. Okay? 
and uh, in youtube most of the time i i suppose this is this is what i believe aap log youtube pe comparison dekhte hoge aur uske reviews padhte hoge am i right take example of mobile phone to so, koi apple select karega apple ke alag alag models aap log select karte ho and what you do you compare and out of that what will be the best suited solution or uh, mobile phone for you that you choose isn't it similar type of thing you are supposed to do in this case also you are supposed to compare you are supposed to understand your requirements and based on the requirements you are supposed to provide or adopt that thing isn't it same kind of thing should be done and that is that is done over here welded joints they are economical as these splice plates and bolts are eliminated okay i will let you know what exactly is the meaning of splice splice plate also the gusset plates required are smaller in size labor cost is less 1% against at least 2% for bolting it is more rigid tubular section connection is possible tubular connection pipe jo hai aap aap logo ne most of the time dekha hoga koi shed ya fir koi truss these are made up of pipe members aur ye pipe members bolted connection se connect karna it is a bahut difficult possible bhi nahi hota welding is the best solution remember pipe sections are most efficient sections hollow section mein okay why it is efficient try to identify the reason about this and let me know fusion of two metal pieces provide continuous structure giving better architectural appearance theek hai then alteration with less expenses welding process is quick it is silent compared to noisy bolting but it creates pollution ye bhi uska ek after effect hai welding ka bahut pollution hota hai साइलेंट तो ठीक है डिटेल्स एंड ड्रॉइंग्स ऑफ वेल्डेड स्ट्रक्चर्स आर इजियर एंड लेस टाइम कंज्यूमिंग वी हैव सीन दैट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ दी ड्रॉइंग्स एंड द सिंबॉलिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज टू बी डन इट इज 100% परसेंट एफिशियंट पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एफिशियंसी इज क्लोज टू हंड्रेड परसेंट मेंबर्स में डिस्टर्ब ड्यू टू हिट ड्यूरिंग वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस अगेंस्ट वोल्टिंग so ye thoda sa ek uh, disadvantage sort of thing inspection of welding joints is difficult and expensive to aap logo ko maine kal ke hi lecture mein bataya it is quite expensive more skill for weld joint to ye to challenge ho gaya disadvantage nahi now coming back to this splice what exactly is splice plate dekho jab do column ya vertical member dekho मोनोलिथिक हम प्रोवाइड कर सकते हैं नो नो प्रॉब्लम बट उसका हाइट लिमिटेशन हम 10 मीटर तक वी कैन मैन्युफैक्चर और फैब्रिकेट दैट कॉलम व्हिच इज इन द वर्टिकल पोजीशन बट इन मल्टी स्टोरी स्ट्रक्चर हाइट इज मोर देन 50 60 मीटर इन दैट केस इफ वी वांट टू यू नो कनेक्ट द कॉलम्स टू ईच अदर देन देर इज अ प्रोविजन what is done if this is column and this column is to be connected with this bottom column they are connected with the help of such type of plates these are known as splice plates ठीक है गसेट प्लेट यानी ये अगर मेंबर्स है मान के चलो और ये मेंबर्स को कनेक्ट करना है इवन अगर कोई डायगोनल मेंबर है ऐसा तो दैट दिस इज नोन एज दी गसेट प्लेट दिस इज नोन एज स्प्लाइस प्लेट अंडरस्टूड तो आई सेक्शन आई सेक्शन का जो वेब पोर्शन मोस्टली आई सेक्शन आर यूज एज यूर कॉलम्स Convenient. 
तो आई सेक्शन जब हम कनेक्ट कर रहे हैं तो उसका जो वेब पोर्शन है मोस्टली दैट वेब पोर्शन इज कनेक्टेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज टाइप्स ऑफ दीज टाइप्स ऑफ प्लेट्स व्हिच आर नोन एज स्प्लाइस ठीक है सो वेल्डेड जॉइंट्स आर इकोनॉमिकल एज स्प्लाइस प्लेट्स एंड बोल्ट्स आर एलिमिनेटेड तो ये बोल्टेड कनेक्शन हम यहां पे प्रोवाइड कर सकते हैं यहां पे यहां पे in order to eliminate the those bolted connection what we can do we can directly weld this column to the another column uska web or flange portion of weld kar sakte koi problem so what we have done we have eliminated this splice plate so the meaning of that is this got it so in the next class we will see uh, the design requirement and how uh, the length of the weld size of the weld thickness and the design overall design of any simple connection can be conducted simple connection ka matlab kya hua tension compression members bending se related filal kuch nahi theek hai this is fine I will stop here.